Welcome everyone to this live uh, live stream. So, so today we are going to talk about um, we're going to talk about objects which are distributed around a circle. So, for example, these are just like an example. Uh, here's an example. This one and also this one here. So we're going to uh, create these objects and uh, yeah. So uh, the main uh, tool here is the transform tool so in order to uh, to put the dialog box here so you have to go to windows and then dockers and then make sure transform or alt f7 okay so when you click on transform uh, this one will show up so this is the um, transform docker so you're going to use this to distribute the objects around the circle so but before that um uh, I want to explain first um, how to rotate an object. So, for example, I am going to create a circle, right, or any shape. And then uh, I think I showed this already in, in a few of the tutorials that um, actually a circle is not a good, uh, it's not a good example because it's symmetrical. So, for example, a rectangle here. If I want to rotate that, I double click, right? And then these handles will show up. So this is the rotate handle. So I'll go like this and that rotates there, right? So the basically the center of the rotation would be this one, right? Right? So now let me show you how to change that. So for example, I want to I want to rotate it from this angle. I mean, this sorry, this endpoint or the um, node, right? So, double click and then grab this one. Again, make sure you are in snap to objects. Okay, so I click on that and then this this center, uh, the center symbol would uh, would appear, right? And then drag this one and put it there. It's gonna snap to that node. So now the rotation would be from that point, right? So uh, you have to understand that so that it's easier for me to explain once we distribute that. Okay, so we am going to delete that. And here we are going to... Okay, so for example, we are going to recreate this, right? I'm just going to make this smaller. Okay. So first, you're going to create a circle. So click on your ellipse tool and then hold down control and click and drag to make a perfect circle. And then let's just make it like gray like that. Okay. So now I'm going to create another circle, right? So click the ellipse tool, hold down control and then like that and then make it black. Now I'm going to move it somewhere there okay but make sure this is vertically centered okay so how do you do that so click click and then hold down shift and then click the other circle and then type in c uh, just the letter c to uh, to align center okay so type in c and that is already aligned center okay so that's the important thing. So in the next one, uh, we're going to look into this uh, transform tool. So I'm going to click on this, right? But before looking at this one, I'm going to click one more time. Okay. And then grab the center here, the center of this uh, rotation center, right? And then drag it to the center of the bigger circle, right? Center of the bigger circle. So now, if I rotate this, it would rotate like that, right? Make sense? Yeah. And I'm going to control Z to put it back. So now I'm ready to distribute this, right? So now, if you click on this circle here, the small circle, uh, in the transform, uh, this one usually is blank, right? It's blank usually. And then this one also is, is it doesn't have anything here. Uh, so what you do is you have to think first, like, how many copies of the circle do you want around, right? 
So for example, you want um, 12, right? So you're going to put 12 copies here. Uh, okay, so click here and then we go 12 copies, type in 12. But how many, what's the angle, okay? So we know that the perfect circle is 360, right? So I actually typed in the formula here. Okay, so this is what you're going to get. So for example, you want 12 numbers or 12 circles or objects. So it's going to be 360 divided the number of objects that you want to distribute. And the um, and then the result would be, it's the answer would be the degrees. Okay, so an example for 12. So it's 360 divided by 12 is 30 so that's 30 degrees okay so let's do it now so we click on this and then go to your transform dialog box here so we're gonna go 12 and then 20 degrees okay to distribute it equally and I just want to click on apply oh did I put 12 sorry this one should be 12 degrees control Z sorry I, I put 20. So anyway, so this one should be 12, 12 copies, and then this one should be 30. Okay, so 30 angle, and then click Apply, and it's distributed all uh, properly, right? So now let's go to, let's just say you want to, I'm going to undo this. Let's say you want to do 20, say 20, or let's just say 18, right? 18. So we know that 360 divided by 18 is... Divided by 18 is what? So if you go to the calculator here, 360 divided by 18 is 20, right? So this one would be 20. So that's going to be 20 degrees. Okay, so now we go to our our transform dialog box here. So we said 18, so we're, I'm going to make this 18. And then this one would be 20 degrees. And then we are just going to click on apply. And it, it distributed all the 18 with, with the right uh, distribution. Okay, so that's it. So, so now the same thing with this one. Uh, we're going to experiment here. So the most important thing is the um, that you get the rotation center. See this one here, it's over here, right? Because I made that as the center. So if I click on apply here with this uh, angle and these copies, it's going to distribute uh, properly, right? So let's go to this one here. I'm just going to... Uh, for the stars here Okay, let's go to the gear here. So the, for the gear I, I just did it like this right and then I am So what I did I create a rectangle like this and then I made a radius corner and Then what I did I converted this to an all to curves and then go to my shape tool and then I made, I moved this over in this side. I just want to distort it a bit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I do it to the right side too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and then I'm just going to squeeze it a little bit like that. And then I'm going to move this to somewhere like that, right? And then make sure both of this is vertically centered. So choose that one and then type in C to vertical center it. Okay, so now this one, say for example, uh, how many, let's say 20, say 20 copies. So if it's 20 copies, then how many angles? So that would be 18, right? Because 18 times 20 is 360. So make sure you click on one more time and then make sure the rotation angle will snap to the center of that. And then I'll just click on apply. There you go. 
uh, I think 20 is is not a good number because see it doesn't look like it's a gear so I'm gonna hold I'm gonna click on control Z and then I am going to make this um, uh, say 15 so for 15 uh, so 360 uh, 60 divided by 15 and that would be 24 so 15 and 24 so 15 and then 24 for the angle and then click on apply okay I think that's better so now uh, I can color this black or whatever and then I'm just gonna grab the circle and then plus sign your keyboard and then bring it in while you're doing this you hold down shift and I'm gonna color that white and that's your gear right so I'm not gonna do the the stars because that's pretty much the same so let's see how I did it so this one is a power clip actually so if I go to edit it's a power clip of this one right so you are not uh, stuck with like just shapes like like this you can also custom the shape customize the shape so I am going to even though need a circle to do this one so you just have to say for example I'm gonna create my um, my line so for example here 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 and here okay and then I'm going to go to my shape tool and I'm going to make this as a curve so click on this one to convert to curve and then I'm going to um, you know like curve this like this like that yeah uh, yeah so for example like that and then say I'm gonna color that uh, say I'm gonna call that green okay and then we will distribute that so click one more time and then this one even though we don't have a circle because this we don't have an offset here so we just grab this one the center and then put it on that node and then let's just say 15 and 24 right click on apply there you go okay and uh, yeah so that's uh, and then what I did here is I just created a circle right because we are making that as our park we're gonna power clip that okay so I created a circle so you select all okay but we don't want the circle to be selected because we're gonna power clip that inside the circle so we hold down shift and remove this circle okay so I'm gonna show you see this one we just selected this right and then now you can go to objects and then power clip place inside a frame and then the frame would be this one here and then I just color I'm just gonna color that to the different color and then right mouse click here and yeah that's how you do it so this is good for backgrounds and you know so uh, yeah so uh, I hope you you like the tutorials it's pretty basic but this is important especially when you're doing illustrations or you're doing logos like that so 360 divided by the number of objects and that will be your angle if you want it to be distributed equally all right so um, I will see you tomorrow and if you haven't uh, subscribed yet please subscribe and bye for now